I've been asked many, many times to talk about this for obvious, dark reasons. And y'all may be surprised about what I have to say, and I know I'm gonna piss a whole lot of you off, but in fact, I hope I do. There is nothing wrong with Yasuke being the main character in this game. And I know a couple of you that's got sweat running down your neck, with your back hunched over, looking like you got scoliosis, already rushed to the dislike button or the comment section to write a big old paragraph about how it has nothing to do with how he's black, but that it's historically inaccurate. Let me ask you something. You do realize that Ezio Auditore da Firenze didn't exist, and neither did his uncle. It's a me, Mario. You're aware that there's no magical apple that can mind control people in real life and do your bidding. You want historical accuracy? Let me show you some accuracy. Yeah, that's right. Before Christ was born, humans took no fall damage. I completely forgot that my history teacher taught us about that before she got fired. Just be honest with yourself. The reason you're annoyed that we play as Yasuke in this game is because he's black. And that your only other option to play as is a woman. That's actually from the place of origin. So the accuracy part is just absolute BS. What's fishy about this is that there is a black man in feudal Japan. And the second main character is a woman. In recent years especially, we've seen black people and women either gender flip other characters or get race swapped. Hence why I can see why that may be an issue. Did the main character need to be black? Fuck no. In a fictional world, it should only matter if the game is good. Which it probably won't be, I mean, come on, it's fucking Ubisoft. When last have they made anything that was worth buying? If you want an Assassin's Creed game based in these time periods that's more true to the old Assassin's Creed formula than the actual series is right now, go play Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, you already played that, well, go play Rise of the Ronin. You won't! Why is that? It's nearly like you just don't want to see black people win. You say it's about historical accuracy, but yet you're mad about Yasuke. May I give y'all a quick history lesson right now? Out of all the assassins that we get to play throughout the course of these games in this series, Yasuke was a real fucking person. If anything, he's the most historically accurate figure in this game. And that bothers you, don't it? I don't even want this game. But I dead booty might just play it out of pettiness. Y'all really think Ivor was out here swinging Thor's hammer. Y'all really think Connor was out here killing redcoats. Y'all really think his granddaddy Edward was out here sailing the seven seas with Blackbeard. You are fucking goofy. People love to create controversy out of stuff like this and I'ma never understand why. It's one thing if Yasuke was a Japanese samurai and then they made him black. I don't want that. That definitely should not be happening. But it's the fact that even Chadwick Boseman was gonna play this dude in the movie. Were y'all still gonna complain about that? No. Then what's the issue with him being in a video game? Because it has the Assassin's Creed logo on it? It's like, bro, grow up. We have had three black assassins in these games. We've had Bayek, Adewale, and this woman. I, I do not remember her name. But from what I'm seeing, people are just mad that we don't have an Asian main character when we do. My nigga, she's right here. Look how much publicity y'all have given this game now because of your hatred for the main character. Man, it's perfectly fine to hate the game, nigga. I do too. But at least I disrespect the shit for the right reasons. Brother, have you seen the prize? They pulled some Star Wars Outlaw stuff with this. Once again, in Australian dollars, and this is without the added tax. By the way, the standard edition is $100. The gold edition is $160. And the ultimate edition plus tax is 200 goddamn dollars. At this rate, most people who are Ubisoft fans can only afford to get one of their games per year. To me, that sounds like horrible business, especially since I know this thing gonna flop. Once the reviews drop and then everybody can see what the game is at its core. Empty, baseless, same old gameplay, boring story, horrible animations, cutscenes that aged backwards. Come on, we went from stuff like this. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. To shit like this. Why would I? The Jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. You cannot be serious. And would you look what they did? They literally made a pay to win edition of the game. Hey, you be soft. Ain't nobody wants skill points that bad. So get your head out your ass, boy. I know you like the smell, but trust me, everybody else finds it infuriating. Y'all may be wondering, you be soft. What is the goal here? 
You see how they put this right next to the Ultimate Edition? They even gave it its own little shitty aura. Like we're all seven years old and can't make up our minds without seeing some flashy colors. They want you to buy their subscription service. They're trying to make subscribing to your games instead of owning them the new normal. I just noticed they got a fucking season pass. It's a single player game, puta. You know what? You didn't lose the plot. I'm starting to wonder if you ever had it in the first place. And I am so stupid. I'm stupid because I've bought games in the past with the premise of being able to play it early because when I get excited, I get impatient, I get irrational. Nigga, all I've been doing this whole time was paying to play the game on time. Mm. If they can afford to drop the game three days early, that's the date that it was scheduled to drop. Because if everybody bought it on that day, then technically, it didn't drop early. Everybody just got on it when it was supposed to release. Then it takes away from the fact that there are other people, other hardworking people, who bought the, the game, their Ultimate Edition, your Gold Edition, for that one purpose. Ubisoft doesn't learn their fucking lesson. When are we gonna team up and jump this damn company? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. Now I can do this my damn self if Ubisoft wanna squabble, but they don't deserve the fate of a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't see anybody hating on the fact that the other character is a Japanese woman. Y'all put all of your focus and rage against the black guy. I wonder why. You're not angry that he's not your traditional Japanese samurai. You're mad that he's got my skin tone. And people wanna say, you'd be mad if they recast T'Challa with Leonardo DiCaprio like, yeah! Cause that's a recast. What sense does that make? Yasuke was a real person, man. Get that through your head. People act like black people can't be from anywhere but Africa. Do you know how many times I've told American people? For those of you who don't know, I am not American, never been there. I'm not Canadian. I'm not from the US. I know I sound like I do. There's a reason for all of this, but let me tell you a quick, quick story. I'm originally from Ireland. I was born in Galway. I got bullied a lot for my accent because I had a very strong Nigerian accent that ended up blending in with my Irish one. So I devoted my teenage years to trying to sound much clearer, so I was watching a whole lot of TV and gave myself some personal speech therapy. As for my voice, this sexy piece of work came naturally. Do you know how many Americans I've told that story to? And they're like, oh, you're Irish? <laughs> Are you like the only black guy there? Nigga, don't be, don't be stupid. Uh -uh. You don't need to have a certain skin color to be from a certain place. I rest my case. Drop a like and share the video before we part ways. Let me know exactly what you think about this whole situation in the comments below. And I'm gonna try my best to catch up with everybody. Honestly, it ain't that deep. And I'll be seeing you. Take care and peace. Baby, let me see some. Okay, too bad. Bitches, go away. She gon' do it for these bands She make it clap like how I do both of my hands Fuck it up Stick it up Throw it back